<clears throat> Somebody left a very strange comment on one of my videos. They said the Romans never, uh, they just destroyed civilizations. They didn't build civilizations. They just went in and, and uh, destroyed cultures and wiped them out. Uh, this is a popular, maybe urban myth among white racists. Uh, we, uh, when the Romans went into Northern Europe, they actually founded all the cities, Paris, Bath, London, uh, paved roads. Uh, when the Latin, darker Latin people of Italy and Spain had beautiful temples out of marble, the Germans were still living in mud huts. As for when uh, the Roman armies marched on Greece and Egypt, they left all the kings in power. They left the culture and they left the religion alone. They actually largely left people alone and taxed them. In many cases, they, people invited the Roman army to come in because they had a set rule of law and they didn't kill civilians. Now, uh, with the temple in Jerusalem, it was different because they said, okay, you know, we're not going to make you worship the emperor. You can uh, you can worship your own god, and Rome really didn't care what you did, as long as you didn't make waves, you didn't disturb the economy, uh, things like this. I would like one piece of evidence where uh, the ancient Roman Empire actually went in and destroyed many things. The same person did not know the difference between the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantines. Uh, there was one Roman Empire. Constantine became the Roman Emperor, became a Christian, moved the capital to the east. A hundred years later, the west fell, but the east was still alive. The Greek Roman Empire as opposed to the Latin Roman Empire. <clears throat> it wasn't until after Charles Martel that these Germans, who were from pagan ancestry, a German, Germanic, non-Latin ancestry, which had actually fought the Romans, after the year 800, they started the Holy Roman Empire, and this really irritated the Byzantines because Byzantine is only a word when we call them back, you know, when we're looking back on them. They actually called themselves the Roman Empire, and that's what the Muslims called them. That's when, uh, in the Quran, when it talks about Rome, it's actually talking about Constantinople. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's strange. People say these things, and they don't. These things are on you. You have to prove these things because there's never been any uh, any uh, any information on them. We have uh, the Greek or the, the the Roman Empire stopping human sacrifice in Britain and uh, pushing the Celts back, and we have in Spain where they actually started destroying the indigenous population of the Celts and drove them up into Britain, and that's why. Modern-day Spanish and Portuguese are now Latins, the same people as the Italian peninsula. Uh, but as for destroying cultures, the only thing I can think of is the circumcision with the Jews, because they didn't understand it. They thought circumcision was castration. They looked at it as barbaric. But uh, Egyptian and Greek cultures were left intact, and they were praised by the Romans um, as the ancestors. But when the uh, Romans moved north, they built all those cities and roads. I mean, where was the infrastructure that they destroyed in the north, which was basically the only barbarian lands that they conquered? Uh, where were the, I mean, there was nothing up there. I mean, we have Stonehenge, but not even that civilization was around. That had already fallen, collapsed back into nothing. You know, yeah, the Celts I have some Irish blood in me, so I want to be proud of the Celts, the Vercingetorics and such. Uh, but nothing did they have like the Roman Empire and the Roman Empire was very cosmopolitan uh, one generation the next generation of the conquered people were Roman citizens and they had I mean all the rights and privileges of those people in Rome so I, I, I don't know where people get this kind of stuff